man. Look at your chicken. I gotta remount these things again because uh, I made them brackets right there. Yeah. And I just assumed because of the angle of the shocks that everything would clear, but I took it for a ride down the road and they hit. Uh, Not bad, but I mean I they hit. That. So I gotta raise them up. Yeah. I actually made them brackets right there out of uh, those are air brake chambers for a big truck. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you can adjust it in and out and turn them side to side if you need to. Yeah. Probably don't look like much of a hot rod, but under the hood. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know, I'm the older I get, the better I like this kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> More so than all that, uh, all that other stuff. I finally found a fan that does the job. I had to buy a couple of them. Yeah. They're cheap. I bought the eBay deals. You yeah. Know, but uh, 15, 16 bucks, and then you get another four or five dollars worth of shipping. So we get about 20 bucks invested in a fan, but. They don't measure them like I do. When I, somebody tells me 12 inch fan, I yeah. mean, I'm thinking 12 inch blades. Right. That's not what they go by. They go by the outside of the housing. Oh, okay. They take two inches away from the fan. When you're talking about this small of an area, every inch yeah. counts. Yeah. Funny, when I first put this thing all together here a month or so ago, got the radiator all in, I use the old Maverick radiator. Yeah. I come home from work, fill the radiator up so I can try it out. <laughs> all kind of legs. <laughs> oh yeah, holes all over it. Oh yeah. So I ended up getting a new radiator. I was gonna get an aluminum radiator, one of those street rod deals, but I mean, <coughs> 139 dollars. Yeah. It's a stock radiator, you know. And I knew it fit because I had already built all the brackets for it to go in there. Right. 